Oh, hey. You're still here? Sorry about the short notice, by the way. I know your schedule's as packed as mine is. Mental enhancement quirks are always in high demand. But given the scale of the mission tomorrow, we really needed both you and Nezu. Uh... Are you alright? No, stupid question. You're not alright. What happened? Did we push you too hard in the meeting? You're fine. You're definitely not fine. When I came in, you had your head in your hands, and your eyes are all... tense. Don't lie to me. Our first briefing may have run long, and I may have looked like I was sleeping through it, but I definitely caught Nezu's rundown on your quirk's limitations. If you analyze too much, you end up... overheating, metaphorically and your predictions get less accurate. That's what's happening right now, isn't it? Uh-huh. That's what I thought. Now that I'm closer, I can see your head's doing that faint, glowing thing it does whenever your quirk's active. Which is funny, because I definitely just heard Nezu say we'll need you to help monitor the mission in real time tomorrow. So you were only supposed to analyze a few key issues earlier on in the evening. Picked specifically because they're limited enough that this wouldn't happen. So, either Nezu miscalculated, which seems incredibly unlikely, or you're purposefully overworking yourself on the night before one of the most important missions we've ever been assigned to. And hurting yourself, too. You don't just look overworked. You look like you're in pain. Do you have a stress headache? A migraine? That's pretty serious. I don't get them, but Midnight does. Sometimes... I know how terrible they can be. So, why push yourself like this? You've done as much as you can do, effectively. Pushing yourself beyond your limits like this is just... inefficient. Oh, don't give me that excuse. You're an experienced pro-hero. Being anxious about how the mission's going to go tomorrow is no reason to go rogue. Hey. 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 You're shaking. It's that bad, huh? I'm sorry. That was too much. I suppose... I'm worried about tomorrow, too. But we have to trust everyone else. No one person can carry a mission this large on their own. As pro-heroes, we find our real strength in working together and relying on one another. So, if you want, I could stay here with you and erase your quirk for a while if it's too hard to stop using it on your own. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's not like I'll need to stare at you the whole time. Just keep an eye out for you when you start glowing and erase your quirk then. <sighs> not that staring at you would be that much of a pain, even like this. Huh? Oh, oh, nothing. Just wondering why you come off as so reliable when it turns out you pull stunts like this. Come on. Let's at least try, yeah? Okay. I'm going to erase your quirk now. 
How's that? So, the headache sticks around after. Well, that's about what I expected. I'm going to come a little closer, okay? You're still so tense. Look at you. <laughs> Trying so hard. Putting your all into it. Overclocking your brain this badly to try and make sure everyone else will get out safe. You really are worried about all of us, huh? Look, I'm not going to say that your health is the most important thing, more than the mission, more than everyone coming out safe. But for everyone else to be safe, you need to take care of yourself instead of pushing it. Your health is foundational to everything else you might consider more important. Do you understand? You've done all you could, and now it's time for you to let go and put your trust in everyone else. Put your trust in me. <laughs> you know, I've helped Midnight through migraines before. I could help you, too. Okay. Thank you. Then, let's see. First off, can you close your eyes for me? Good. Now, lean back in your chair and relax as much as you can. Good. I'm going to shut your laptop now. No more research tonight. N no arguing. This screen's so bright it's liable to give me a headache. Never mind you. <sighs> okay. Next. Have you taken any pain meds yet? Of course not. And you've had these side effects your whole life, right? If I got my hands on whoever taught you that pushing yourself like this was rational back when you were still a student, well, here, I always carry a bottle on me. Nope, stay there and keep your eyes closed. I'll help you take it. Just tip your head back and open your mouth. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. You made your bed. Now you have to lie in it. You pushed yourself so far that you're shaking all over. If I gave you the bottle, you might end up spilling it. Or am I wrong? Good. And this, this is your tea on the desk, right? Here. I'll support your head, okay? I'm right here. Lean back on me. Rely on me. Good. That's it. Small sips. And swallow. There you go. All right. Next step. Are you one of those people whose migraines get better with heat? Or cold? Gotcha. Midnight's got a good stash of heating and cooling pads that she steals from the support department and squirrels away all over the teacher's lounge. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we go. You normally shouldn't fall asleep with one of those on, but I'll take it off for you once you're out. Now, come on. Over here. That's right. Lean on me. It's not far. Keep your eyes closed, and trust me, I'll be with you every step of the way. We're going over to the couch. <laughs> I always use my sleeping bag when I need to stay overnight, but uh, the other teachers have some blankets they keep in a basket behind it. 
Okay. <laughs> Turn around. Very good. The couch is right behind you now. I've got my hands around your waist, so don't worry. You're not going to fall. Just sit back slowly, and I'll ease you down. Mm. Good. <clears throat> okay, I'll be right back. Hang tight. Alright, um, let's see what we've got here. Oh, wow. This really is just a giant American flag, isn't it? <laughs> All night. Uh, and this one is somehow made out of fishnet. <laughs> God, I love my colleagues. And you're never going to repeat that. Unless you want me telling Nezu exactly how much you've been pushing yourself. Against his recommendations. Got it? Good. Okay. Here. Plain, white, but nice and soft. Alright. Now. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to sit down with the pad on my lap on the other end of the sofa, and you'll lie down so your head is on top of the pad. It's efficient, and the easiest way for me to keep my eyes on you without straining myself. <sighs> hey, listen. If you don't want this, then tell me straight and I'll back off. But if you're just embarrassed, or don't want to be a burden, give it up. You know you need support right now, and there's nothing wrong or weak about that. <laughs> You're always trying to plot out every eventuality to take care of us. So now, let me take care of you. It's only fair. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Here. I'm going to put my hand on your shoulder to help you down, okay? Yeah, good job. And now, the blanket. There, you made it. All you have to do now is give in and let me comfort you. All right. Very good. Your hair, your hair is so soft. You're being so strong right now. You know, letting yourself rest like this, going against your instincts, letting down your walls, and depending on me. You can let go now. You should let go now. It is the most logical move, given all the circumstances. Hmm. Your forehead's still a little tense. You've got your eyes scrunched up. Is it the lights outside? <sighs> I wish we could turn them off, but it's a security measure. No blackouts on campus unless there's a serious emergency that forces an override. But, I can do this for you, at least. Put my hand over your eyes and press down gently to block out all the light. Does that... Does that feel good? You know, like this, my thumb and my middle finger are right over your temples. So if I press down in circles... Should help work out the tension. Yeah, that's it. Just relax. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Nothing. It's just uh, the way you pressed it into my hand a little. 
It was almost like how a cat headbutts a person petting them. Uh, all right, all right, sorry. Sorry. But you can keep doing that if you want. No? Mm, pity. So, <laughs> water, meds, I've cut out the light. What else? How about sound? Is my voice soft enough? Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Here, you've got some hair trapped over your eyes underneath my hand. Let me tease that out. There we go. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> You're being so good for me. Almost suspiciously so. Is it really that bad, or is this a ploy? And you're planning on getting right back to worrying and fretting as soon as I leave. What? Are you... Flustered? Oh. Uh, so maybe it's something else, then. Well. <laughs> that's too bad. You have to recover now. And that means no... Strenuous activity. <laughs> you need to get some sleep, so you can be our ace in the hole tomorrow. And then... Well... I guess then we'll have to see, won't we? <sighs> okay. Now, I want you to relax your muscles as much as possible. So... Adjust, and get yourself comfortable. I want you to find a position you can fall asleep in. Good. You may already know this technique, but that's because it's a classic. If you tense your muscles up, then release them, you can get rid of whatever latent tension you're holding on to without realizing it. So I'm going to talk you through that. And whenever you relax a part of your body, I want you to let it go completely slack. And imagine that it feels so heavy, you can't possibly move it anymore. So, we'll start from the bottom of your body and work our way up. So first, can you tense your feet and hands up for me as much as possible? and get ready to let them go, completely. And now, relax. Good. They're heavy now. Moving them would be so much effort. And now your legs and arms. Tense them up. As much as you can without making your head hurt any worse. Good. Hold it. And relax. That's it. Just follow my voice. Let it all drain away. Next, I want you to tense up your abdomen and back. Don't overdo it. Just focus on tensing every muscle that you can. Eventually, all over your core. Good. And... Relax. Very good. We're almost done. Your body is so heavy. You couldn't possibly move it. All you can do is lie here and let yourself drift off as you follow my orders. All that's left is your head and neck. Given that we're trying to calm down your migraine, 
Instead of bringing it back, <laughs> I want you to tense your muscles only slightly. Great. And now, focus on relaxing them completely. Everyone. Until your head lulls back and all the tension seeped out of you. Good. Now, you don't need to focus on your own body anymore. Just focus on my voice and the pad below your head, relieving your pain, and the warmth of my hand over your eyes and forehead. I'm here for you. I'm going to stay here. I've already had a nap, but if I need to, I'm perfectly fine with sleeping on the couch as well. I promise I won't leave you. Take breaths now, deep breaths. Breathe in, one, two, three, four, and breathe out, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's good. Keep counting your breaths. Keep them slow and steady. Breathe in, one, two, three, four, hold it, and breathe out, one, two, three, four, five, six, keep counting on your own. I'm going to cup your face with my other hand, okay? Good. You're really being so good for me. As much as the relaxation exercise helped, you look like you've got a little tension in your head, so I'm going to massage that out for you. First is the back of your neck. I'm going to slide my hand under your head, like so. Now my fingers are on one side of your neck and my thumb on the other. Then I'll just press in gently at the point where your neck meets the base of your skull. Good. Let your head fall back. I'm going to work out the tension here so you can relax more fully when I lay your head back down. Oh, just like this. Now, I'm going to move up to your jaw. I'll press in on either side of it. Just where it hinges in small circles. There we go. Just relax. You are getting so tired. You don't need to hold on to the meaning of my words anymore. Just how they make you feel. Safe. Secure. Taken care of. And now I'm moving down to your lower jaw muscles, almost at your jawline. <sighs> Massaging them gently so you can let go, so they can relax. You can store a lot of tension in your jaw. My quirk makes me tense up my head, too. So, I've had to do a lot of research into how to untense and calm down. It 
it's not easy. And you're doing so well. All right. I'm going back to your temples now. Just pressing over an area where you can feel pain can help disrupt the signals to your brain. So, with the pad underneath you, and my hand covering your forehead and massaging your temples, that should help block it out quite a bit. Is that... Oh. <laughs> You're asleep already, aren't you? Huh. I thought this was going to take a lot longer. With how much you overthink everything, you still trust me that much? Well then. Good night, kitten. I'll be relying on you tomorrow.